we know the energy bill is quite on the rise right now it's quite high and so we have to hi everyone welcome back to my channel i'm eddie thank you so much for clicking on this video so today we are going to be talking about all things clothing garment fabrics and all of that you know my youtube channel is all about is mostly about fashion and styling and i think we as ladies even as gents we need to put more effort in maintaining and caring for our clothes so from the storage from where we get it in the shop up until the huge usage the multiple usage of our clothes how long and all of those good stuff that is what we are going to be talking about and if you want to learn tips and tricks and how to go about um, maintaining your clothes this video is definitely for you firstly i'm going to be talking about the purchase or the buying of our clothes what do we look at when we buy a cloth so do we just see a beautiful dress on the shelf hanging so beautiful with vibrant color hanging there and we just rush over to say oh i'll have this dress and take it to the till we make payment we take it home well most people do that kind of impulse buying but i for one i do look detail into a particular garment before i purchase before i take it home i do look at the overall you know fits if it's comfortable i'll try it on and i would actually you know try to feel the fabric how smooth how soft how rough how it feels in the touch and one thing i do not forget i always say this on my channel i go to the label so talking about label i'll just bring out a garment so just an illustration so if i go to a shop and see something like this what i do is just feel it get hold of the details the hand beads just try to look an overall an overall look like this kind of top now a um, lot of people will go for it I went for it because this um, the feet at this hand pit they have an extra cover so you won't be seen much underneath my hand pit so this is one of the reason why I went for it I felt it it was smooth to the touch and I guess this must be a silk top so what the next thing I do not forget to do like I always do it is to check the label I go to the label to confirm this is a hundred percent silk um material the fabric is um silk and it tells me how to care for this particular um um fabric and it tells me how to care for it what to do how to maintain it so that those are what i look for and how much am i going to put on this how will i love it the color will it be comfortable you know those sort of things is what i really really look for when i purchase a particular garment the next thing I'm going to do when I get it from the shop, when I bring it back uh, home from the shop, is just to, you know, try to make sure it fits well. And yes, if it fits, then I am going to take off the labels, those tags, those um, Zara tag or whatever tag, take them off and straight to the laundry. Why do I do that? So those clothes we see on the shops, they are always looking straight and like they are ironed like they are crisp there's no crease on it and it's all you know well presented they do use a spray that contain um formaldehyde if you're thinking about how the garment was produced the pro from the processing center up until it was, tra it was transported to the warehouse and to every shops you would imagine you can't imagine the dust the you know lots of hands have touched it you know lot of things the garment has passed through lot of things so it is only hygiene for one to just wash your garment before putting it on properly so i do put on i do wash my garment i look at the label if it's sick if it's delicate if i want to use my washing machine I turn it to the delicate parts to you know wash or for me personally my silk my delicate cloth I prefer hand washing it and the um, detergent I love using is this Ecova zero 
you can get it from supermarket so i do use this for delicate washes like for my silk for my um cashmere my wool those you know delicate fabric those fabrics that if you don't maintain it very very well it will um uh, it will kind of you won't have value for what you have bought so yes this is not a paid sponsorship on this i'm just trying to show you how and what i use in making my garments clean so yeah this is what i use i love it because it doesn't really it has zero fragrance and zero zero coloring it's very good for the environment you can recycle the can after using it and yeah it's very i've been using it for a long time like i have been using this for over three years and it's been doing me well next is this i this um this is star Jean gentle care it's also for delicate fabric as well this has fragrance so i decided to try it because i want to see how a fragrance um, detergent for delicate um, laundry is and i am pleased with it it's very affordable i think it's 2.99 or 3.99 for this small um pack but yeah it is it's 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 okay for me it's there but i would advise this this is better off and it's more it's it's better for our environment yeah so the next i am going to talk about if you bought a white the white is stained or you know maybe the white is not as bright as you would want it to be is dull or i do go for this varnish i have been using it this is trusted and tested yes it do um it disappears any stain from food from you know makeup stain you know we ladies who love our makeups and maybe taking our clothes off we may sometimes you know stain our clothes from our makeup so yeah this um varnish oxy action it's very good for white you can soak your white you can soak it first before taking it to the um washing machine to do what it's best for so like for curtains beddings laundry and um other garments like um throw my throw pillows and others Persil non-bio because I have a child with a very sensitive skin. So most times when I am washing its clothes, I do go for this Persil non-bio, although it has scent in it, it has fragrance. And you know one good thing about it, when you wash, like when you washing, the whole place is just, the fragrance everywhere is just, mm, it's out of this world. I recommend this. I know a lot of people would already be using it, but thank me later if you haven't. Just try it. Yeah, so I love it. It smells so well and it's non-bio, good for sensitive skin. It can take 34 washes and you know, lots of good, I have lots of good things to say about this. I've been using it for more than eight years. This as this is this is this is it for me. Another um, taking care of your clothes after washing it, bringing it from the shop, washing it with any of this um, laundry um, detergent I just showed you is to iron. Yes, it's very important for you to iron or steam your garment. It makes it look presentable. It makes it look you know you every the stitches every details will be pronounced just the way you bought it from the shop just the way you saw it hanging on the shelf when the ironing would help look presentable so i recommend you actually iron or steam your garment it's very important it brings out the details people see the beauty of the cloth people see that you take care of your cloth and people see that yes you are not doing it for people but yes we are putting on cloth and everyone sees it so why not just look presentable yeah so that is my next tip the next i'm going to be talking about is storing your garments so there is no one particular way of storing your, gar your garments depends on your space and depend on what you have to work with so most people like me do um hang most of my garments especially my structured blazers, my coats you know all of those my newly ironed clothes i do hang them on and hanger uh rails which makes it i think for me 
I want my structured um, blazers and coats and jacket to just look uh, structured always so it doesn't slouch when I put them on. So that's the reason I usually hang most of those um, um, garments. And the next thing I do look for is I love using wooden hangers. So wooden hangers, it's very good. It's good for our environment and it's quite sturdy. So it makes your cloth um, stand really well. So the shoulder pad wouldn't slouch. It doesn't bend on like the plastic hangers. The wooden hangers do very well. They do stand the test of time. You can use it for a very, very long time. And yeah, so another means of storage is most people love folding their garments, like folding their sweaters, their jumper, which I, I do that also. I do fold my jumper, my sweaters, my trousers, my tops, my, um, you no, know, those kind of garments. Yes, my jean trousers, jean, you know, stuff like that. I love folding them and I have where I do fold them. And it is very important to fold them properly, not just rumple them and throw it into wherever your chest drawer or anywhere. No, you have to follow um, a proper uh, regimen when folding. You have to follow a particular pattern that will make your clothes more organized. Some people also love color coordinating. They love color coordinating all of their items to the same kind of colors or the same kind of clothes like all white in the same row, all black the same row, which is also very good. And some people also love coordinating all their jumper the same row, tops the same row, you know, stuff like that. It's also very, very good. So whatever is suitable for storage, I think as long as you're storing your clothes very well, not that you finish using your clothes and you just dump them anywhere or you can just fold it and drop on your laundry basket so that you value your cloth if it is if it is worth your money you value your cloth you take care of it and you know that that cloth is not one one of use you know that you have to use that cloth multiple times so you value it and you won't just throw it it's except you go for fast fashion that is quite very affordable like you can see a fast fashion top for like 10 pounds or 15 pounds you know or stuff like that yeah you may not be able to value but when you get an item that is very valuable like not expensive but you know the fabric it's quite of a value to you you would want to take care of that fabric you want to take care of that cloth because you know you are using it for a very long time so after that storing you may want to use reuse your cloth again you may want to change it for the season you take off your off season cloth you store them very well as well you store them maybe in your bus or wherever you want to store them behind or anywhere then you bring in your new wardrobe for the season then you may want to use it and rewash you know that washing time that's when you know if the fabric is sustainable if the fabric will last long and you know and most fabric washes very well as time goes on you wash you see that as long as you care for your cloth you will see that it will stand the test of time another aspect i'm going to be talking about is grouping your cloth so we can't just say okay we have just this dirty shirt and we'll throw it in the washing machine we know the energy bill is quite on the rise right now it's quite high and so we have to um, get as much as our clothes are dirty and just group them by colors talking about colors most people still think that white and cream can be washed together so in my opinion I don't do that so white is white and cream is cream and you cannot use a white soap like this a soap meant for white to whiten clothes to wash your cream cloth it will definitely ruin or you can't use a silk um, like a silk top you can't wash a silk top and a cotton top together so there's a lot you have to put in 
to actually wash your clothes you have to check the labels if the labels of a um, garment um, rhymes with the label of b garment you have to just put in those work to make sure your garment is well used and well maintained well cared for and well loved so that even if you are you know you're tired of this garment you or you are not feeling it anymore yeah you can always pass it pass it on to someone else or you can happily and proudly donate it to your local charity or you can you know just gift it on to someone the person will appreciate it than raining a cloth a very beautiful garment that you use your hard earned money to buy so yeah it's very important to group your cloth and wash so most times when i'm washing my cloth also i sometimes introduce this bead this is the scented boosting bead if you want your garment to smell so beautiful this is the gold orchid i love this set more it's from i think Lenore. so i love this so much it smells divine however most times if i use it to wash the scent doesn't really come out very very well the way i want it so another way i use this linear scent booster is i got this from the pound stretcher from the pound land for about um i think 20 of this is a pound so i just put in the beads in this lovely tiny um place and i just um throw it where i have my clothes folded and i tell you what it's as if i don't need to use a fragrance i don't need to use a perfume anymore because this smells divine they have several options but i love this more and they have the i'm going to try the uh, lavender i think i'm going to love it but overall i prefer this um option so yeah so when washing we when we get our garment our clothes we have to look at several things how we can maintain it if you know the maintenance is beyond your your capability i'd advise not to get that garment if it's just for you know just the label is telling you to just take it to the dry cleaning and you know you don't know how to dry clean at home or you can't afford to take it to the dry cleaning i'd advise you stay away from that garment just go for the one you can easily maintain because it's not about to buy a cloth it's about how you maintain it so also you can also use your fabric conditioner i do use them for my beddings it makes my beddings very soft and I do use fabric conditioner for some clothes also makes them feel soft and more delicate you know stuff like that so yeah so basically that is all I have for you today on maintenance of your clothes I will be bringing subsequent um, videos on these how to maintain maybe just I will dedicate a video to each fabric how to maintain maybe just for silk just for cotton so this is just a general overview of how we can maintain our clothes generally so if you've stayed up to this extent thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it. please tell me in the comment section what you would like to see i do videos like this fashion styling trends and all of those good stuff if you love this video please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe bye